Hi right, everyone, Alan Knight, former Zen monk turned communication coach, and I thought I would take a few minutes today to address an issue which is quite current, ongoing madness of sexual harassment claims. It seems that every day in the news we hear about another politician, another athlete, another actor, someone who's in a position of some power and responsibility in the world, uh, having many claims come their way of sexual harassment. So I thought I would give my humble little perspective being a communication and relationship coach for over 25 years, I have a bit of a, a theory about it that I thought I would share with you. But in order to do that, I'm going to upload this little screen here, this little slide. There we go. So you can see here that at the very top is what I call the dream lifestyle. Every one of us want to live our dream lifestyle. And I'm presuming that a lot of these people in control that are going off track, they, like all of us, want to live a dream lifestyle. How do you do that effectively and do it in a, in a very healthy way? Well, in order, if you follow my arrow here where it says soulmates, you could replace the word soulmates with communication, relationships. It includes soulmates. But every day we need to communicate with people on a business and personal level. And in order to fly ahead and reach our dream lifestyle, we need to do that rather effectively. So our communication skills are pretty critical, including patience and love and compassion and assertiveness and listening skills, and the list goes on. The trouble is that the world is filled with dysfunctional relationships. And what I've learned over the years is 80 to 85% of our communication comes from the inside out. It comes from the relationship we have with ourselves first and foremost. So the question is, what is the quality, what is the state of the relationship we have with ourselves? And this is why I have the bottom four little ovals here. Emotions, we've got rational mind, we've got a physical body, and we've got, call it what you want, soul, spirit, center, I call it the Zen zone. The clear blue sky that overrides all the different clouds that go by, they come and go, the clouds come and go, uh, come and go, the emotions come and go, the rational mind comes and goes, but the Zen zone is always there. So that's why people meditate. That's why they do hot yoga. They yearn to have inner peace and tranquility. Well, I lived as a Zen monk. I learned to have a lot of tranquility, intensively meditating, but meditation alone does not work. We don't live in the Himalayan mountains. We still have emotions. We have a mind. We have a physical body. And we have relationships. When I left the, the, the Zen monk living for nine years, I became a basket case on some levels and learned that you have to connect the Zen zone with the emotions, with the mind, with the body, with your entire lifestyle, leading to your communication. Most of us, because of our past, and I'm presuming a lot of these uh, people in power, they've developed negative habits emotional anxiety, worry, fear, fear of rejection, insecurity, jealousy of different kinds. The rational mind kicks in. Instead of being positive and proactive and creative, it tends to be negative, full of self-doubt, full of, I can't do this. Oh, if only I had more love. If only she had sex with me. If only people respected me more. And our physical body goes from one extreme of procrastination to the other extreme of compulsion. So when the emotions, mind, and body are off track and running the show in a negative way, guess what that does to our communication and our relationships? Instead of living very fulfilled relationships, we're living dysfunctional relationships. Even if on the outside it appears we have all the money in the world, all the power in the world, and have all the wonderful life supposedly on a material level in the world. But if down here there's a whole bunch of garbage, that is going to ooze out into all our communication. And that's what I believe is happening, not just with these power people, but pervasive in the world at a lower level, perhaps, or not as dramatic because we don't see it in the, in the press and the media. But our world is filled with dysfunctional relationships because of the fact that most of us haven't taken the time to accept, respect, and adore ourselves like our own child. That is why over the years I created a nine-step fast-track program that helps you to master yourself from the inside out and then communicate with true love and mastery. And basically, uh, what I've learned is that unless you do that, you're going to attract very negative situations in your relationships and it could ruin your life. So the key is for these people to learn and all of us to learn 
to go inside ourselves, learn to take responsibility for our own emotional, psychological state, get on the path, whether you take Alan Knight's program or other people's program, there are pretty, plenty of leaders in the world that you can learn from, to learn to love and accept yourself as the foundation of loving other people so that instead of trying to get things from people and control and manipulate and try to get them from the outside, you just are a walking love machine that people want to be around and you're going to get all that you want anyway. You're going to get the love and admiration, but you get it in the right way from the inside out. So I hope this helps in some humble little way. If you have any questions, contact me at alanknight.com or email me at alan at alanknight.com. Look forward to the next session. Take care. Have a great day.